What is going on, everyone? Badger here. Should have liked and sub, and let's get into this. Didn't have this one on my bingo card. Don't know how I feel about this because of all the problems uh, with Shang-Chi, Shang-Chi, whatever, the directing was the least of them. I don't like Simu Liu, so that's right there. I think he's just vapid himbo with no charisma, personality, or gravitas. I, the dad was the best part of Shang-Chi. Uh, and really, the only person I know that wants a sequel is Alan Ng, uh, my compatriot from uh, Film Threat. Shut up, bro. Uh, I hope you're, sorry, no Shang-Chi sequel for you because he's going to be doing Spider-Man 4 and I guess no John Watts. Um, so here we go. This, I mean, it's from Variety. It's not like this is some sort of scooper or anything like that. Tom Holland Spider-Man will keep swinging in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings director Destin Daniel Cretton in early talks to helm the film in addition to the Simu Liu-led Shang-Chi. Yeah. What else has he done? Short Term 12, The Glass Castle, Just Mercy, and he was going to be directing Avengers, The Kang Dynasty. Now, obviously, that got switched to be Doomsday, and then, uh, well, we know the Russo brothers are doing Doomsday and Secret Wars. Uh, <laughs> oh, boy. So, yeah, that means no Shang-Chi, at least in the you know foreseeable future. No John Watts' fourth movie. Tom Holland coming back. And uh, on uh, Film Threat Versus, I was like, oh, this is probably then they'll introduce him for this fourth one. They'll have him do the fourth movie. And then that's it. We won't see Tom Holland again unless it's in Secret Wars. But uh, Script Doctor is the one that said, no, he is uh, Tom Holland is still contracted to not only do those three guest appearances in uh, or two guest appearances in Doomsday and the Secret Wars. He's also for three standalone movies. So that would mean Spider-Man 4, 5 and 6. Uh, and I guess John Watts it just isn't part of the equation. Uh, and that these would take place, actually. Actually, I think it's right here. That the, the, If this all pans out, that uh, it would take place in between Doomsday and Avengers Secret War. And if we, the rumors are true that Robert Downey Jr. is coming back, not just as a Doctor Doom, but that he's coming back as a version of Doctor Doom that's really just a variant of Tony Stark and that the end result of that will be whoever they cast as Dr. Doom will finally be revealed in Doomsday and Robert Downey Jr. will just be playing a Tony Stark variant for the rest of his time in the MCU till he's 90 or at least until everyone uh, gets taken out in Secret Wars and they reset the entire universe. Uh, also supposed to be seeing a Tom Cruise variant finally. Um, but all of this... Depends on whether you believe uh, Chris Gore and other people when he says that uh, they are course correcting, that uh, Kevin Feige has said we tried it, it being making more female characters than men as far as their superheroes are concerned, and pushing all the fun modern politics, not adapting any of the popular storylines, but adapting the ones that they just made, trying to push characters that were objectively not popular in the comics and had continuous rewrites and reboots, high Kamala Khan, uh, and so on and so forth. But even, even if you believe, right, that they are doing course corrections and now they are doing what is best for the, the universe, understand, trust and believe that there's still a bunch of stuff that is in the pipeline uh -huh, that we have to get through before we ever get to a Fantastic Four. So that means Agatha all along we have to get through. If you hear sirens, it's them coming for whoever greenlit this. Uh, Agatha all along, the fourth title of whatever the hell this is going to be. Uh, the big one here. Remember Ironheart? Remember Ironheart? Pepper Farm remembers Ironheart. Yeah. Riri Williams, that still has to come out. And then, of course, Captain America, Brave New World, mm -hmm, and Thunderbolt. So we have to make all the way through all of this just to get to a Fantastic Four. And then if that Fantastic Four isn't horrible, if they, if they maybe release a Fantastic Four that has a teen dynamic and doesn't alienate everyone, and then we get to a Doomsday that doesn't completely piss everyone off with a Robert Downey Jr. who's not really Victor Von Doom, well, then we might get to this Spider-Man 4 and everyone like it. But you see what I'm saying? It's a long road ahead for all of us, really, especially MCU, who, if you've taken a poll of people lately, which I have, uh, not many, 
not many people with goodwill towards the MCU right now or Star Wars or really anything. So, yeah, they got a lot of work ahead of them. Let me know what you think about all of this. Are you excited for Spider-Man 4, let alone one by, uh, by the Shang-Chi director? I don't know. Anyway, make sure to like, share, and sub. If you have done that, thank you. If you're going to do that, thank you. And Well... <laughs>